everyone, long time no see. Uh, we've just started the year off with a dyno tune. We've got a new ECU in there. It's the Link G4X. It had the G4 Plus in there before. Um, so a little bit of an upgrade, but what I didn't realize is that it needs to be tuned pretty dramatically differently from the G4 Plus. So we've had it at a garage seven. A uh, bit of an issue yesterday on the dyno, uh, the cam bolts came loose on the adjustable cam gear. I'll put a photo up of that to show you. So we dodged a bullet there because the cam gear spun around and it almost flew off. Uh, it put a few holes in the timing belt, so I had to replace that. Put it together, got it back on the dyno. Here's a few runs for you. So the main difference before getting the car tuned this time was that I changed to a Link Fury G4X ECU before I had the G4 Plus. And the only real difference is in the software. If you look at where it's mounted up in the car, it's all in the same place, same harness. And I assumed that just plugging it in, it'd be all normal. But what I didn't realize is that all the software is so different that you have to redo every single configuration one by one, you can't just Put the file across and then it'll start up so this is what i did for a while just had both both sets of software loaded up and went through every single setting all in we got fuel ignition all the way down to make sure that it was at least similar to the g4 plus um, before getting it tuned and so when um, dex had it on the dyno it was almost ready to have a power run, he just had to fix a few of the fueling issues. <clears throat> the main reason I changed the G4X is because I wired up uh, Daniel Breyer's car, the same as mine, and it was basically set up exactly right for a G4 Plus. So he ended up buying my G4 Plus, or we, we swapped ECUs, he took the G4 Plus. Um, I'll put some photos here of the process of when I was doing his wiring. I basically made a, a table where I could map out the engine um, I can actually recreate JZ looms by doing this. Uh, it's a pretty budget loom. I just used you know, pretty cheap shrink wrap and all the wiring was from a link loom. Um, but I did everything as neat as I could and uh, double checked every single circuit as neat as I could. I did the, the dash, the same as mine as well. Um, and his car seems to run pretty good. It made 545 kilowatts, which is a heck load of power. Um, here's a little video of, of me testing it out at the track. We didn't quite get it running right. It, it had a loose coil pack ground out of all things. So that's probably my fault. So check out this footage. <laughs> Next event is round one of the Drifting SA series. We're doing the pro rides there. So if you're pretty keen to come for a ride in the car, um, check out the link. I'll, I'll put it in the description or on the screen here and come for a ride in the car with myself and Dan and Landon. We're doing the pro rides. So come and check it out and I'll see you there. Cheers. <laughs> 